Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're in the midst of swooning your loved one. Today is not very much of a Valentine's Day related episode. I tried to do that in advance so you were prepared. But maybe you guys are feeling in love this weekend and you wanna stay in bed, cook up some nice breakfast. I thought it's an appropriate time to cover one of the easiest breakfasts you could make, which is French toast. And though it's pretty easy to do, it's so delicious and when it's done right, it's the perfect thing for breakfast sometimes. French toast is basically sort of uh, dried out bread that is soaked in a custard so that when you cook the bread that all of that custard is absorbed throughout the outside gets a little bit crunchy and the inside is nice and soft and custardy pour some maple syrup on top a little butter some powdered sugar and you've got yourself a fantastic breakfast it's cheap it's easy most of the ingredients are sitting in your cupboard today we're making ours with some brioche bread you can use whatever bread you like but brioche is like a little bit eggier than most breads, so I feel like it sort of lends itself to French toast. This challah bread, anything like that, and you sort of want to have it whole so that you can cut the slices of bread into the thickness that you want, which is like at least an inch thick. So we're just gonna use this, and we really want this bread to soak up the custard. I've really never made anything like this with day-old bread sort of sitting around. I've always sort of ended up buying the bread. So if you have bread laying around, just leave it out and you can kind of dry it. This was fresh, I just threw it in the oven for a little bit to kind of dry it out and firm it up. It's going to allow it to do more or less the same thing as leaving it out. So we're gonna cut this guy with a serrated knife. You've never seen me use this knife. This is my personal knife set that I use in private, not for the show generally. Maybe one day I'll work up to it, but it's one of my favorite knife sets. It's got this nice wooden handle. This is the Wustoff Epicure knife set. If you're interested in more of a high-end knife set, this is in my Amazon store that's linked down in the description if you wanna go check it out. I don't need all of this. I'm gonna cut it in half. I wanna just use the blade. That's about an inch. That's how I'm gonna measure my French toast. The beauty of a serrated knife, it, is, it allows you to cut soft bread in a way that doesn't destroy it. So, got an inch. You wanna saw at it. So now I've got my, my challah bread. It's cut into the pieces that I'm gonna want to soak up. So now we have to make our custard. So I got four eggs. I'm gonna use two whole eggs and then the yolk of two eggs. The extra yolks are gonna just make it a little bit extra custardy. To the eggs, I'm gonna add about two to three tablespoons of sugar. If you like it sweet, add a little bit more. If you like it less sweet, add a little bit less. About a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And about one cup of half and half cream, whole milk, whatever you have works. So about a cup. I'm just gonna take that and whisk it all together. I did forget to salt this, just a pinch of salt. I just let that chill out for 15 to 20 minutes on one side. These are a little thick, so you wanna make sure that these guys are nicely soaked up. They should be like double the weight that they were when you put them in it. So give them some time. It's just gonna really absorb that custard and make it extra delicious. Mm, that cinnamon smells so good. You can almost start to feel that they've, they're they sucking up all of that stuff. So, I'm just gonna flip. They're much heavier than when we got them in there. The way we're gonna cook these guys is we just got a pan. It's gonna cook it over medium heat, medium high heat, depending on your stove and all that kind of stuff. You wanna make sure nothing burns. You just wanna get nice brown on the outside of both sides of the bread. And then once we're happy with how it looks on the outside, to make sure that center becomes nice and cooked through and custardy, we're gonna pop it into a 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes. 
just to really make sure that everything's cooked through, that egg is cooked through, and try to get a nice kind of crusty exterior going. So we're just gonna bring everything to the stove and get things wrapped up. You can tell when they're done when they have like a little bit of a bounce to them. You can tell that egg inside is cooked. These are beautiful, they're like pillows. Now guys, this is a base recipe. You don't have brioche bread, use regular white bread. You wanna add some fruit on top, add some fruit on top. If you're making more, double the recipe. If you like more cinnamon, add more cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, don't add any. But all I know is that thin French toast can be a little soft, the texture's not right. This has a little texture from the crust and it still has an interesting flavor because we're using a different type of bread. But this can be done with any bread, but that brioche is delicious. One thing you have to note though is that I have made this before and I tried to cheat on letting it soak for less than 30, 40 minutes and the bread didn't fully soak up all the way to the center. So I've learned from that mistake and I make sure I give it enough time to soak in the custard. That custard probably is enough to make five pieces of this size. It had almost sucked up all of the egg when it was done with these three pieces. So if you're making more, just double it. Otherwise, just let it soak in that thing at least 30 or 40 minutes, all the way up to like an hour or two if you want to. Just to make sure it fully sucks up all that custard. Then cook it, throw it in the oven, make sure that custard's fully cooked. If you can do those two things, you're in store for some pretty good French toast. Now all you have to do is try it for yourself. Thank you guys, thank you so much for watching as always. I uh, hope you enjoyed that recipe. It's a quick and easy one. You know, it's basic French toast. I just use different ingredients than what I maybe it was served when I was a kid. So that's how you make it. Use any bread you want. It's all good. Not sure if you checked it out. My ABC News segment has aired. I'm gonna leave a link down below in case you guys feel like you wanna check it out. It was really fun. I've got more coming up. I'm actually going in studio this Sunday to film something for the Oscars which is very exciting. I don't know what's happening, guys. I guess I do news now. Um, I hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day. That's all that I have today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself.